so this is going to be the peeking guide for you guys we're recording this live here in streams i stream on youtube every day drop your like you already know so a lot of people are asking how to peek properly and i did a strafe guide a long time ago but i didn't got into it like like in, in depth you know so i try to do this now when i play uh attack here on ascents what i like to do normally normally okay what i like to do is kind of risky but you guys see me doing this all the time and you guys know me like i've, I've been playing with radiance i've been playing top 10s top 15s i've been playing with even immortal tree sometimes and this works with against those type of players so it's probably gonna work for you guys in whatever rank you guys are i think the major part of the people are plats and in gold so it's probably gonna work for you guys as well the first thing i do there's the, the blue on here the first thing i do instead of coming here and doing this i i i try to like instead of doing this i try to reach my maximum speed so the strafe guide i kind of teach how to max speed your character but here if you if you pick like this it's really bad because in the enemy screen you're gonna be kind of slow you know when sometimes people shoot you and you're like dude this guy's walking this guy's running but normally what people are doing is that they know how to white swing and stop at the proper time the, the thing about white swinging one unit is a step so this is a unit right so i will be like instead of coming here and doing this i'll do this i'll go here bang the round started bang i picked so you heard you heard my my character stepping two times right to reach the max speed possible your character needs to make two no uh, two times the noise so uh, let's look bang that's my max speed the second time you hear the step that's your max speed a lot of people don't know this but that's how it works bang see max speed and remember if you press w and d at the same time you're gonna decrease your speed it's not gonna be good so never press w and d to open an angle you always want to open the angles with a or d only never with like this with ad with wd i mean we clear this angle right bang start the round start here one two bang and then it, of course you, you're not going to focus on the sound you're going to focus on your aim you got to be second nature for you to understand the speed and the velocity that you're going to get after stepping two times so do do one thing right now the next rank you're going to play you're going to do this one two and peak angles but you're going to peak properly instead of picking like this super wide you're going to do like this like see see how i did just one step that wasn't in my max speed but if i do from here bang max speed and this gives you so much advantage over whoever you're playing against you guys have no idea and again here max speed max speed so look how i have like a mental map in my mind i'll try to do it again just so you guys see try to get in the server and do it i'll do like this one two peak now one two peak one two and the third when you get to the third step is not good because if you get to the third step you're gonna start missing shots so look at this one two three look at the bullets i right, look look what i'm gonna do one two one two one two look at the difference you see this is look one two three look at this one two three look you see how crazy it is people don't will never tell you're just gonna see this here you're just gonna see this people will never tell you this type of secrets see with the vendor even with the vendor i'm doing like kind of going in the same spot one two look one two one two now with the phantom look at this i'll do it with the phantom just so you guys see even with the phantom with the third step look one two three i missed see look if the phantom is kind of crazy because it kind of gives you this opportunity so if you pay attention to the sound of your step one two one two see this like i'm missing very few shots and it's kind of going the same spot and that's how i do the strafing thing and how i'm talking about peaking angles okay peaking like specific angles 
when I will shoot someone that I, I, I know, like, for example, if I open this angle here, one, two, I'll do like, instead like doing this one, two back, I'll literally do one, two, and then I will do just one. So one, two, look at this. So one, two. It's kind of hard, I know, but it does work, boys. So if when you're going to pick an angle, think about this. Am I going to be in my max speed when I pick this angle? Because when, like, sometimes you guys see the stream. And when I do, like, I, I pick like this and kill an upper here. You guys are like, dude, the hall. You guys go crazy, like, in the chat. Because it's kind of it's kind of overwhelming for people that don't know this technique. But when you know it... You kind of think about it. Oh, he did the one, two, and he was like max speed. And in the enemy screen, he was crazy. So, again, two units of steps are the best way to shoot. So, look, again, I do, I do it here right over here. Uh, where can I? Look, I do right over here so, so you guys can see. This is three units, okay? Look, it's kind of going the same spot. But if you try to do this with the Vandal, look what's going to happen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, my timing... Okay, my timing is kind of good right now. I'm not missing the timing when you press AD. But if you're going to do this in a live match, don't do the third step. Because the third step is way harder to get the timing correct. So do the two steps. This, as soon as you as soon as you hear the second step you're gonna shoot that's when you know the timing is correct okay that's when you know and no matter like no matter how far the target is like look at this it's going all in the same spot with the vando is harder but it's possible see how i missed over there with the Vandal instead shooting, uh, I wouldn't think that I do with the Vandal because it's kind of harder. It's less forgiving. The Phantom is way more forgiving. The thing that I do with the Vandal is like, instead of doing the two bullets, I do one, two. So kind of like this. One, two. See, so I do one, two, two steps. One, two, two steps. You, you guys, if you guys watch my videos, you guys will never see me walking more than three units. Because when I walk more, than, if you walk four units, you're going to always miss. So look, I will walk four units. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look at this. See how the bullets are going like kind of like all over the place. Now, if you walk two. See, like it's two units and two bullets like that's the way it works now let's get in depth and how how, how you guys can practice this so you guys can evolve your game i'm not really good at explaining things i know guys but i'm trying my best like how can you guys um create like a mental map in the in, in the in the game to kind of think where the enemy gonna be this is how i think before opening an angle i kind of have in my mind okay so there's, I have the, the red zones and the yellow zones. The red zones are zones that I need to check 100%. The yellow zones are zones that are like, whatever, he's probably not going to be there. Which, and I will explain why. This is a red zone. This behind the box over here is a yellow zone. This is a, a red yes. zone over here. This position over here yeah. is a yellow zone. This is a red, this is a yellow, and this is a red. So when you have in your mind the main positions, try to create this like, okay, try to create like a checklist of positions that you need to check before you open an angle. That way, this is going to help you out to like 
minimize possibilities of you getting killed. So, for example, if you're gonna check the red angle, and there's a guy with a vandal, and you do the the one two properly, so one two, bang, you're probably gonna kill that guy. Like, if you do the one two properly, you're probably gonna have the advantage over that guy. And afterwards, if you do the one two and keep strafing. Kind of like this and make your bullets. Look at this. This is more than enough to kill people. And I just missed like two, two bullets. This is more than enough. So when you have this in your mind, the games become so much easier. You guys have no idea. Let's go to the B side. The B side is, is interesting because it's a side that you're picking in your left side angle. Another thing that you guys need to know is that the character in the game like when you're in the game the gun model is like this so it's your the gun model is kind of like this to, to the right so if you pick a left side angle your booty gonna show up like bef like it's kind of gonna show like way before like if you pick a left side angle the whoever is picking the right side this angle over here like kind of here gonna see you first that's why a lot of radiant players, even pros, you're gonna see this in professional games. If they don't, if if they are aggressive here, they kind of do like this. They stay like in this position because this angle is an advantage over a guy that's gonna pick this. This angle is kind of like 100% kill because this angle, like to open this without flashbangs or anything, is kind of like a death sentence because that guy gonna see way before, way before. The same thing is valid for balcony. That guy over there gonna see you way before because that guy is way further away from this wall whoever is further away from the wall gonna see first this is a thing in all fps as far as i know like this is a very common thing in all fps so when you have all those things in mind and the last thing that i will talk about that is mo the most important i think you could i bet anything you guys want if you guys watch this video and apply and, and actually practice practice this you guys gonna like rank up way more like i i i say you if you're like a plant you get at least two immortal i swear like this is because this is actually things that even sometimes ratings don't know you know this game has a crazy pickers advantage i know valorant is kind of a game that advertised uh this game we're not gonna have pickers advantage we care about competitive integrity but it's a bullshit it's bullshit let's be real here pickers advantage is a thing in this game and you gotta abuse this. You gotta understand how to abuse this. The the best you understand, the more you're gonna play better. So when you see when you see me like for example, aiming at the wall, a lot of people complain about this. Like when they watch my videos, just people like telling telling me like, oh, this guy's hacking. He's aiming at the wall. Like I kill a guy here doing like this. That's three. The other the last video I kill a guy here doing like this. I'm gonna ask my editor to put it in and. A lot of people call me a cheater for that, but I just had a mental map where the enemy was. Because if I'm going to open an angle, for example, this angle is a yellow zone, right? Remember the zones that I told you guys? Let's say we're going to go B. This is a red zone because a lot of chamber players, what they do, they just wait for the chaos knife over here. And then after the chaos knife, they peek or after the wolf, someone destroy for them and they peek and TP out. So there's a lot of things that go on. You got to think about it. But if you have a good team or if you're arena you can flash yourself over here bang peek now what is the next zone you need to check the yellow zone the yellow zone is right over here yeah. exactly here and the red zone is here yeah. which is like kind of almost 100 percent is going to be someone so one two see see how i open for this guy that's wrong that's not what you want to do you want to you want to open for just one angle at a time so one two now go back one two one two one, two. So like yellow zone here, yellow yeah. zone, now red, red yeah. zone, and red zone. So there's three red zones that you gotta pay attention and two yellows. Now there's this zone over here, which is the red zone as well, because there's a lot of players that do kind of like stay kind of like here to get a queue and go back, which is pretty good. But you're just gonna see this in very uh like like I don't know, like immortal tree radiance. People that are more like 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 little rats, you know, they, they kind of know the spots. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what it is. Now let's let's forget about the the one two now and focus about the angles. You gotta imagine before even opening an angle, you need to imagine the angle in your head and kind of have the aim 
exactly where you think someone's gonna be so i'm not gonna do the one two now it's just the proper way if i want to show up in this angle it will be like this one two bang now that, that was my max speed and i'm opening the angle correct so if i this is a yellow angle now i want to open the, the other one garage right the garage there one two now i'm in my max speed and i'm taking a one v one so when you're opening angles like this you need to slice the angles a lot of people don't talk about this you need to slice angles what is slicing angles picking one v one like if you just do this a lot of people do this it's very it's, it's, you're not in your max speed but it's very possible that you get a kill because you're doing correctly you're gonna take a one v one here one v one 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 check this angle like there's that's the proper way kind of not the proper way that i do i'm just saying saying stuff that i do okay guys but it's, it's, it's a way that a lot of people play now what i like to do is to do the one two so one two open this one two open this so like you kind of you kind of like need to play and kind of realize okay i'm gonna check this one now or try to go full speed i always try to go full speed always no matter the situation always full speed and i think that's pretty much it like if you if you want to practice this i suggest you hop in the server don't do deathmatch if you do deathmatch kind of focusing on the one two probably gonna help you out but the most important thing is 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 to know the mental map in your mind and how to open an angle for example no matter no matter where i am for example if i'm here i kind of know the angles angle here and go here and go here and here so if i'm if i'm going a or I'll, I'll give you a very simple example normally i come uh balcony over here to open for the team right to get the first kill what i like to do here is to always like this if oh yeah another thing that i forgot that is super super important let's say you're playing around and you don't you cannot run you gotta do the silent step that i talked in the strafe guide if you guys didn't watch go watch the strafe the sign step is kind of like you have one unit to walk so this is a normal step right look at this so from here to here this is a normal step now if you go if you stop just a little bit earlier from here to here just a little bit look i made noise see now normal step normal step now this is a silent step which is kind of like 70 percent of the step that you're doing you, under, you guys understand what I mean? It's like 70% of a normal step. And why is this good? Because if someone is staying still kind of like this, let's say there's a guy here, right? If he's staying still like this and he do the silent step, you're going to kill this guy 100% of the time. And I'll explain why. Because this guy staying still like this, he's not communicating much with the server. Now, if you're doing the silent step, you need to do the 70%, right? So 70%. Look, I'm not making any noise whatsoever, and I'm opening the angles. See this? That's what you want when you're like in a silent situation. But if you in a like if you're rushing and throwing flashbangs and stuff, you want to do the two time the two steps. So from here, let's say I want to open this angle, right? One, two, bang, my max speed. Now there's this angle over here. If I just decide to do the one, two, and max speed here, I will lose speed in this angle. So what do you need to do? One, two. That's why sometimes you guys see me uh, doing like a little back and then I go forward. Back, back. This is kind of something that I do that really does help. Which is faster, close to the wall or further, further. The further you are from the wall, take further down, by the way. The further you are from the wall, uh, you're going to see the person that you're picking first. This is I can kind of show you some examples. But again, let's say I'm going to hold this angle. You guys watch the stream. You guys always see me. You guys always see me doing this. AD, AD, AD. Like crazy AD, right? Because I'm trying to communicate with the server. Sometimes I even do this. Like silent stepping like this. Because he helps you to be on action. He helps you to be moving. You know, you're going to be moving all the time. You know what I'm talking about? That's the main thing that going to make you a Radiant. In my opinion, okay? Other than to become a Radiant, in my opinion, other than knowing all of this, you need to know how to use your utilities the max possible. So if you're Fade Man, you need to know how to use your utilities properly. If KO, 
stage chamber you need to take the most out of your kits possible that's what makes a good player and that's pretty much it wall hugging is kind of bad yes wall hugging is not good if you see someone like super rosa i always use super rosa he's the boy like i really like him and he knows that and the thing about super rosa is that he knows he needs to do the swing he needs to do the swing because he's he came from cs so he, in cs it's very common to do the max speed swing and then stop at the right time and super rosa if you see him playing he always do like this there was a clip that i watched uh on heaven that he was like he killed a guy here and then he walked forward but when he saw he walked forward he did this and then did this just so he had this this swing opportunity the swing opportunity is super important so yeah that's pretty much it I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I think I literally told you guys everything that I know. Like, literally everything. Uh, so, that's... Literally, if you want to practice this, go to a server like this one. Uh, and practice all the angles. So, binds, heaven, like the major maps. For example, the, in over here, there's this angle. This, this. Like, and, and try to do the two steps. Try to do the silent step. Look. See, I stepped because I, I didn't win 70% of my step. You got to go 70%. Look. 70%. See? So, again, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. Much love. Show it to your friends if you have friends. And that's pretty much it. You still here, my boy? If you're still here, it's because you like me a lot and I like you. So, don't forget to drop a like because we both like each other. So, why not like? And watch this video over here. Yeah, this, this one. Uh huh. This one is good. That's Sersky. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.